Hello everyone, for DIYers here, back with another tutorial video for everyone. Now in this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to unfreeze your locks in the winter time. Now on some vehicle manufacturers, uh, this is something you will have to consult with your owner's manual. Uh, they are equipped with a uh, heated lock assembly. Now in this particular vehicle here, this is a 1997 BMW 540i. When the vehicle is locked, you can pick the door handle up uh, for a certain duration. Then this will activate a, a heated element around the door lock assembly here, uh, which in turn then melts the ISO. Now, not all vehicles are equipped with that, and as I mentioned, you will have to consult with your owner's manual about that. Now, if you do find that your lock is frozen, uh, what I recommend that you don't do is that you don't try to force it, because what will end up happening here is you can either damage the lock assembly on the inside here, uh, even damage some of the mechanism, you can also bend this key, or you can even, uh, worst case scenario, is break it off, and therefore you'll have a hard time getting in your vehicle. Now, if you do have locks on other doors, you can also try those as well in order to get in your vehicle. And if all else fails, you can uh, try these methods uh, that I will continue to talk about in a minute. Now, the first method, which I'll be discussing, is using a heat gun or a hair dryer. Now, in this particular situation here, I do have a heat gun. Now, what you want to do... now you do have to be careful with this considering it is cold outside and you can risk the damage of paint especially with a heat gun not so much with a heat dryer because it doesn't have that intensive heat what you want to do is just hold it around the area here and just go around until it does warm up the lock assembly and melt the ice inside the door lock once that's done you can then go ahead and uh, insert your key unlock the vehicle now the next method which you can use this for is you can also use this to just heat the key up itself um, just the metal portion of the key once you've warmed that up, you just want it warm to the touch. You can put it inside the lock then, let it sit there for a second, jiggle it around, and then uh, it should be able to melt the ice inside. Now something which I see is common on the internet here, and it's not something I would recommend personally, is people do use a lighter to heat up the metal portion of the key here. Similar type of idea with the heat gun or hair dryer, as I just mentioned a second ago. Normally I wouldn't recommend that, and there's a few reasons for that. Uh, one being that if you get too intense with the heat here, you can end up melting the case on your uh, key fob or whatever that is, or some do have a rubber casing on it, some have a plastic casing, it depends. Another instance is that some keys are rechargeable when you stick them in the ignition. Therefore, they do have a contact with a battery in the inside. Now, if you do have a keyless remote assembly like this is right here, there is also a battery inside this as well. Now, if you get too intense with the heat, the heat can then transfer to the inside here, and there is a possible risk of... Uh, damaging that battery or causing harm to the control itself. Now another reason which goes along with the battery assembly is there is electronics inside these. And not all of them have electronics. This one is a keyless remote therefore it does have electronics inside. You can also risk the damage of destroying those electronics inside and if you do that these can be very costly to replace which is why I don't recommend using a lighter. Unfortunately I don't have one on hand to show you but a lock de-icing tool can be used as well. Now these are fairly inexpensive to buy. Uh, you can purchase them online for around $15 plus shipping. Basically it acts almost exactly like the key. What you have here is you'll have a uh, just a metal portion that does come out similar to what the key is that does slide in the lock assembly here. And then you have a box on the other side which does hold the batteries. Now these are battery operated and basically what it does it just heats up this metal portion when you put it inside there just for a few seconds and it just creates enough heat in order to melt the ice inside the lock assembly. Now it's great to have because you can use it on multiple vehicles, you can use it over again, and the only thing you really have to replace is the batteries inside. Now another method which you can also use is an aerosol can of lock de-icer. Basically what this does, it's similar just to a can of lubricant. You just push it inside the lock assembly here, you can see this little trap door does open, and you just spray it inside. Unfortunately I don't have any on hand to show you how that works. But all you do is just spray it inside there you let it sit for a second and what that does in turn is it melts the ice inside the lock and therefore you're able to open the door. Now another method which also works is petroleum jelly or Vaseline. Now unfortunately it doesn't usually come in a spray can, it comes in a, in a container. So therefore what you'll have to do is just put a little bit on your finger, put it on the key here. Once it's on the key then you just insert it in the lock assembly here. You just move it around, wiggle it around until you're able to uh, turn the key freely and open the door. You can use WD-40. Now normally this isn't recommended uh, for long-term usage on locks because what happens it does wash away the lubricant inside here and basically what WD-40 
does is it's a water disbursement or moisture disbursement. So once you open that trap door, you have usually a little nozzle that comes along and you just spray it inside like so. You let it sit for a few minutes. Uh, what this will do is it'll allow the moisture inside the lock uh, basically to disappear and uh, basically de-ice the lock and um, therefore you're able to use your locks. Now this isn't something for long-term usage just as I mentioned a minute ago. Uh, therefore you'll want to add a proper lock lubricant uh, to your locks. Uh, this is something which I'll mention in a future video. Now another method which you can also use is hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is fairly common and basically with hand sanitizer it is an alcohol based uh, liquid which you can put on the key assembly here. Once you put it on the key, just the exact same method as using petroleum jelly or Vaseline. So you put it inside the uh, lock assembly there, you just let it move around, sit for a minute. And basically what the alcohol will do is it'll just melt away the ice that is trapped inside there. Now this concludes the rest of my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them, as well as subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.